All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, we are going to be opening up my uh, collection of zingers that I've recently acquired. But uh, before we get into these ones, one of my, uh, I guess, you know, pretty longtime viewers of the uh, channel, somebody who has always had something polite to say on pretty much every video, uh, you guys can find his comments on almost all my videos, has sent me... My, uh, my fellow collector, Jonathan Hardman, here. I'll post a link to his Instagram as well. He has a very interesting uh, Instagram account where he shares all of his, uh, his stuff that he collects. Um, but he was kind enough to send me a zinger. Um, and I don't know what's in here. I don't know what kind of car it is. All I know is that it's a zinger. So, uh, first of all, thank you very much, Jonathan. I, I, I appreciate it, you know, immensely. It, that is the, the kindest thing someone can do, you know. So, um, to show my appreciation, let's, uh, let's, let's get it out of the box here. I think I covered up all the, all the important information on there. But, uh, I was thinking to myself, when, uh, I, I got my last zingers, I was thinking to myself, you know, if I get an even six of these things, maybe I'll do a video where I open them up. And as I had that thought, um, I got the comment on that video saying, oh, you know, I'd like to get in touch with you and uh, I can send you a, a zinger that I think you might like. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, funny you should mention that. <laughs> so uh, funny how things work out sometimes there. But uh, this opened up here without stabbing my own hand. There we go. And we will see what has been sent to old Greg. cars in here. Oh. oh, dude. Look at that. Yo, a new coupe clip. <laughs> cool. Um, I do, I have a handful of these coupe clips, but the one on my keychain is actually pretty beat. So, uh, I'll definitely replace the, uh, the coupe clip on my keys. I love these coupe clips. Um, oh, I got a little note here too. Uh, had an extra coupe clip. Enjoy, brother. And if you could mention my name, Jonathan, when you do that video, that would be rad. If not today, then... Jonathan. Yes, Jonathan. Um, this is his Instagram, or what his Instagram is called right here. And I will also try and post a link to his Instagram channel, um, in the video description. So thank you very much, man. That is so cool. Look at that. That what is this? This is an eighty Silverado, and it's a uh, the Miho exclusive. So this goes great with the uh, the golf cars that I just opened up. My GT forty, or I'm sorry, this is just a GT, and my uh, seventy Mustang. Wow, that is oh, dude, what a sweet truck. We're opening this one first. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. Let's uh, let's get the lift pulled over, and we'll crack this guy open and take a good look. All right, guys, there it is in all its glory, the 1980 Chevy Silverado. So technically, this would be a C10 Silverado. It's the uh, Silverado trim package for the Chevy C10. And, oh, we got an opening hood on there. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, so as you can see in there, it looks like a 350 small block under the hood. Um, as it should be. Okay, uh, that was a little weird. Um, my camera just started doing some weird stuff. Anywho, uh, 350 small block under the hood, as it should be under there. You can actually see it almost looks like on the, uh, there's something I can point very precisely with. Um, if you look at, you see these three little humps right here. Um, that is the exhaust manifold, and you only see three of them because the, uh, the middle, the two, uh, exhaust ports in the middle of the manifold actually use a, uh, the runner is like one piece. So it looks like only three pipes coming off the side of the head on the, uh, generation one 350 small block. But anyway, um, really, really sweet looking truck. I absolutely love the paint scheme on this thing. And the more I look at these zingers, the more I really do start to like them. 
when I first saw like the zingers and stuff, uh, you know, I'd see them online and whatnot. I really thought they were just like kind of cheesy and ridiculous looking. But like the more I look at it, the more I actually kind of like the, the cartoony look of them. And I guess now that I have a few of them, it's, uh, you know, it looks cool because there's more than one like that, you know? <laughs> like if I only had one of these in my collection, it would be like, eh. but since I have like at least a row of, uh, of them now, I can fill up a shelf with at least six of them now. So that might look kind of cool. But yeah, very, very awesome looking truck. I absolutely love the golf paint scheme. Those orange wheels look awesome. Uh, so on this guy, we'll talk a little bit about what they got going on on the base with these things. So with the Zingers, they have this whole extra piece added on here to give you the, uh, the enormous lifted rear, the uh, obnoxious cartoony rake. And then uh, we do have some chrome exhaust pieces as well. Some, uh, I guess you'd call them side pipes. Yeah, that's side pipes. But uh, let's see, 62321. So about a year and a half ago, this was released. Um, obviously, being that it's a uh, Miho exclusive, I've never really seen this one uh, in stores or on the uh, Johnny Lightning website. This is, these guys are only available, yeah, there you go, uh, mnjtoys.com, or mnjtoysinc.com. Um, I do have a lot of Miho exclusive stuff in my collection, though, that being said. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at our fun facts here. We've got golf facts. Uh, golf oil can trace its beginnings back to the tapping in 1901 of an enormous oil gusher on Spindle Top Hill near Beaumont, I think that's how you say that, Beaumont, Texas. Uh, Gulf Oil Company was synonymous with auto racing in the 1960s and 1970s, thanks to its famously sponsored cars with distinctive paint schemes. Um, yes, the Gulf orange and blue, very, very synonymous with racing. As we saw just a few seconds ago, I do have my, uh, my other Gulf themed cars here, my Mustang and my Ford GT. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump that. <laughs> um, very, very cool stuff. Very, very nice. So, thank you very much, Jonathan. Good, good call. I absolutely love this thing. This is a sweet looking truck. Absolutely love it. Awesome addition to the collection. So we will go ahead and get that guy parked up. Now, what should we move on to next? Nothing here is really going to top that. <laughs> um, I guess let's crack this two-pack open because I am rather into this 2011 Camaro. You guys know I love my 2011 Camaros. And uh, we have a 73 Chevy Cheyenne. So we'll scoop these guys down a little bit. Uh, no, we'll leave them right there. That's fine. All right, let's get this cracked open. All right, so now we've got our 2011 Camaro, and what was this other guy? A 73 Chevy Cheyenne. So we're going to check out the Camaro first. Honestly, these uh, I can't double these up on the lift because they don't fit underneath. Um, being extremely careful with that enormous spoiler that is glued on the back of that thing. Uh, that is absolutely insane. That spoiler is huge. This thing is extremely tall. I don't have a tape measure, but it's, you know, what's that? Like half a finger, two thirds of a finger high. <laughs> anyway, um, really, really cool. As you can see, we've got the hood open there. There is your 6.2 liter LS3 V8. I'm assuming it's an LS3. I'm assuming this is a appears to be a manual transmission. Uh, if we take a peek in the interior there, I'm so scared to tilt this thing. I don't want it to fall. I feel like it's top heavy. Uh, yeah, there's your little shifter on there. The automatics and manuals in these, the shifters look kind of the same almost, but uh, we'll go ahead and say it's a manual. So we can say that's an LS3 under the hood. The automatics had the uh, L99 6.2 liter made a little a little bit less horsepower and it had uh, variable valve timing and cylinder shutdown and all that extra crap. 
Um, this is a very cool looking car. I the, the cowl hood is absolutely ridiculous. Go ahead and close the hood. It literally covers like, you know, 60% of the windshield. But I guess, yeah, that's like the point of these zingers is to be just absolutely ridiculous in every possible way. But, um, you know, like I say, I love my 2011 Camaros. I have a 2011 Camaro for those of you that are new to the channel. Um, that is actually the 2011 Camaro, or my Camaro is what you hear at the end of every video. The, uh, the outro to each video is an audio recording of my Camaro. Uh, so interestingly enough, if we can focus on the actual car in front of us here, um, you can just about make out above the passenger side taillights, there's a little red SS badge. So the red SS badge indicates that this is a 2SS, the higher trim level. Mine is a 1SS. But uh, I've been kind of sneaking parts off of eBay into my 1SS from a 2SS, so. Uh, license plate on there is not really legible. I, I cannot make out what that says. Yeah, that just looks like gibberish. But, um, <laughs> this thing is absolutely ridiculous. Take a quick peek underneath at the bottom. As you can see, like all the other zingers, it does have the uh, no focus. Come on, dude. Please. Thank you. Uh, it does have... Jesus Christ. <laughs> the struggle is real today with this camera. Uh, our production date on here is 10-7-2021, though. As you can see just back there. And now it wants to focus, of course. Um, Mickey Thompson tires on there too, as well. Very cool stuff. I dig it. So we'll check out on our card here. We have, uh, yeah, it doesn't have any specific facts about the Camaro. So here we'll, uh, let's look at the 73 Cheyenne and then we'll go over the card. Here is our 73 Cheyenne from this two pack with the uh, red line tires on there. Kind of a uh, sort of American racing looking wheels. Big, massive, supercharged big blocks sticking out of the hood. You got a push bar with a winch on there. Uh, that actually looks to be the Auto World push bar and winch. That looks familiar. <laughs> this is a uh, an Auto World step side. Hmm. Interesting. Let's stick that back. Um. But yeah, what a cool, cool, cool truck. And then on the back in the bed, that is probably one of my favorite mods for a pickup truck. I absolutely love old school roll bars with the uh, the fog lights or roof rack lights, whatever you want to call them, across the top. Um, that's one of my favorite styles, honestly. Very, very cool looking. And uh, you know what? This I'm starting to wonder if this is a uh, an Auto World casting with Johnny Lightning's name written on it. It has the opening tailgate just like the uh, Auto Worlds do. It has the push bar from the Auto Worlds uh, square body. I'm starting to wonder if a lot of these uh, Johnny Lightning Zinger square bodies are just uh, rebranded Auto Worlds, which would make sense. I mean, they're both owned by Round Two. There's our. We have a license plate on this one. It says USA. Um, I don't think you'd see anything like this anywhere else in the world, except for the USA, probably down south. <laughs> um, yeah, what a cool looking truck. Nice red interior in there. Black steering wheel. Big supercharged big block sticking out from where the hood used to be. Very, very cool stuff. So we will go ahead and move both of these guys over here. And then we'll go ahead and check out our, uh, what do we have? What kind of facts? Earth shaking facts. <laughs> uh, this zinger was inspired. This zinger, which one? There's two. 
in the pack. It's a two-pack. You can't say this zinger and not say which one you're referring to. Uh, this zinger, so one of these two here, one of them, was inspired by the MPC Mild and Wild model kits of the 1970s. They featured huge, exaggerated parts similar to the original Zinger's model kits. Uh, they both have exaggerated parts. I mean, I guess the Camaro a little more. Maybe they're talking about the Camaro. I don't know. Uh, this is the first release of the 1973 square body Zinger with the optional roll bars and brush guard. Um, cool. So this is the first time they've done a 73 with the brush guard and the roll bar. Interesting stuff. So we'll go ahead and get that card. Uh, oh, what else did we have in this? Oh, check it out. So these are the rest of the vehicles in uh, this release. We've seen those, the boogie vans. We've seen, obviously, these. And we've seen the off-road two-pack with the 69 Blazer and the 04H2. The Blazer is actually right here. That is one of my favorite vehicles in my whole collection. I absolutely love that Blazer. Um, oh, check it out. So it says, Zingers originated in 1971 with MPC model kits of Mount Clemens, Missouri? Mississippi? Miss Mississippi's MS, right? God, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, they were exaggerated vehicles with enormous engines, huge tires, and enough fun for an entire generation of kit builders. Two Detroit car builders, Chuck Miller and Steve Tanzi, were tasked to build full-size zingers to display at auto shows and events for MPC's band brand promotion. Roughly half scale with full-size engines, they were a hit at every show they attended. So that's how they made the engines look so big is because the car was half scale. Uh, round two, the maker of Johnny Lightning Diecast now owns the MPC brand. So there's no one better to bring you the next chapter of Wild Zinger Customs. Um, cool. So that is a little backstory on where Zingers come from and why they look the way they look. Very, very interesting stuff. So, we will go ahead and get our Camaro parked up. And our 73, we looked under the 73, uh, did we? 10, 7, 21. Side pipes, chrome underneath, you know the deal. Um, oh, one thing I will mention, all of these cars that I've opened so far, uh, all of these cars have plastic tires. So just a little interesting tidbit about them. I think they all have plastic tires just because a, a rubber tire that size might be a little bit, I don't know, a little bit difficult to uh, pull off. So next up, we've actually got a version A and a version B of the uh, same vehicle, A and B, of our 285 Silverado fleet side. So these are not Silverado, uh, I'm sorry. Silverado C10 fleet side. What? Well, is it a... Oh, right. Fleet side is a... This is a fleet side. And fleet side is not a trim package. So, right. It should say C10 Silverado fleet side, not Silverado C10 fleet side. Because the type of truck is, is a C10. Silverado is the trim package. But I'm starting to wonder if Johnny Lightning knows that or not. But anyway, we're going to open both of these at once because they're the same casting, just version A and B. So we'll get both of our lifts pulled over here. All right, guys. So here are our two 1985 Chevy C10s, um, both of which we got, it looks like, supercharged big blocks under where the hood used to be. Um, and we got license plates, front license plates on them. Both license plates say 1985. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our black and what, what color does it say this is on here? <laughs> uh, our paint code for this guy is sunset orange metallic and gloss black. Pretty cool. We've got a flame on the side. One single flame needs more in my opinion. Uh, the roll bar again, nice to see that. I absolutely love the roll bar. Very, very cool. We do have opening tailgate, very good. 
Um, yeah, these, the more I stare at these pickup trucks, the more I'm starting to realize these are just, uh, auto world castings with zinger bases, uh, bolted to them, which again, like I said, nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sharing stuff throughout your company. Very, very nice looking truck. I, I almost think it would look better without that little flame on there. I really do. It's so like I always say, guys, if you're going to put flames on it, commit. Don't just put one flame. Put all the flames or none of the flames. It's one of those things. <laughs> but either way, um, what a, what a cool-looking truck. Absolutely ridiculous looking. Again, with the uh, chrome kind of American racing style wheels on there. Very, very nice. Go ahead and get a look at that from the other side. We do have a nice big open air grabber. I think the 73, yeah, the 73 has uh, butterfly flaps. This guy's got a, an open air grabber. Very, very cool stuff. So, we will go ahead and... Well, let's take a peek at the bottom first, actually. Um, this guy's got shorties on it. Shorty headers. With... Uh, that looks like uh, some of the molding still is left on there. It's supposed to look like that. Can you see that? Yeah, there's a little bit of the molding left on that header. But whatever, it's under the truck. Got our production date of 3-09-2022. And uh, actually, that was a uh, that was like a month before I started recording. And uh, yep, that's all there is. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take a look at our other 1985 Chevy C10. This is the uh, this is actually the yellow one is version A. We just looked at version B. I would have liked to go A B, but we went B A. Um, this is root beer metallic and golden yellow. Um, I don't know about golden yellow. It's very yellowy yellow, but I like root beer as a color. That's a cool name for a color. I love root beer. <laughs> um, pretty much the same exact truck, but uh, just a different paint scheme here. Again, we have the roll bar. Very good look. I love the front end of this thing. Very, very nice looking. <laughs> And then you just turn it to the side, and it's just absolute ridiculousness. <laughs> so goofy. Uh, opening, yep, opening tailgate. We've got our root beer inside the tailgate. Very cool. And then again, we do have, like I said, license plates on both of these. Both front and rear license plates say 1985 on there. We'll take a peek underneath this guy real quick. We do have, that's what your header should look like. There you go. Just shorty open headers. I bet this thing's louder than all hell. Uh, and then our production date, 309.22. There we go. So we will take a look at our card here. We've got freak facts for these guys. Um, so this is our version A. It says... This is the first release of our new 1985 Chevy Silverado Zinger. It features an all-new front grille for 1985. Uh, this is also the first release of our square body Zinger using the optional roll bars. Uh, wait, what? What about this one? Did, did you forget about that one? That one has the roll bar. And this is older. This was uh, 10 7 21. 3 9 22. So they did use the optional roll bar on a square body. It doesn't say 1985. It just says this is uh, the first release of our square body zinger using the optional roll bars. No, it's not. I literally have one right here with the optional roll bar that was released before this. Unless I'm not understanding what they're saying. Either way. Um, so this is, uh, let's see, we've got, this is 2021 release number four. 
Um, we have that Firebird. We have that Dodge Dart. Um, some interesting zingers. And uh, yeah, this is all the uh, Street Freak series. And then this is uh, some of the stuff with these guys. I have the customized 57 Bel Air. Got that guy right here. Got that one for my birthday not too long ago. Uh, another Zinger is 72 Ford Maverick. That's probably pretty cool. Uh, Honda Civic, meh. 76 Plymouth Valera Roadrunner. I have one of those, not the uh, Project in Progress one. I have the Muscle Cars USA variation. And then the Barn Finds, 64 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. I have one of those as well, but again, not the Barn Find one. So that is, uh, that's the back of the card for both of these guys. And real quick, I'll show you because I did get a little Street Freaks trading card with each of these. So there is the orange and black one, and then the yellow and brown one. So we got little cards for the wall there. And then real quick, we're going to take a look at the card for our version B here. It says, this is the first release of our new 85 Chevy Silverado Zinger. It uses an all-new front grille. That's the same fact as the other one. Um, this is different. Uh, this Zinger uses the optional open headers rather than the side-mounted exhaust pipes used on previous releases. Okay, so that's... That's true. Um, like I said, so we have side pipes on this guy, and then, uh, like we said, open headers. We did take note of that. So, very interesting stuff. That's uh, I now have four square body zingers over here lined up. So... That leaves us with one car left. We are getting up there in the, uh, the time a little bit. Uh, we've got a 65 Buick Riviera. So this guy was another one that uh, I got this for Christmas along with the rest of this series, the Street Freaks 2020 Release 3. So we have seen the 2010, 29 Ford Crew Cab, uh, the Cheetah, the 55 Lincoln Futura, 74 Dodge Monaco, and the 97 Integra that is up on my wall. Um, as well as the Dodge Monaco. If you want to see these guys, um, they are in my Christmas video. So head over to my page and find the uh, old Greg's Christmas video, and you can see me open this set up. But this has just been sitting up on my wall since Christmas, and uh, I finally decided to open it today. Okay, just had a little phone call to make, but we're back now with our 65 Buick Riviera. And... I'd like to say that I actually, uh, oh, wait, no, before I say that, oh, yeah, Ooh. almost made a liar of myself. I do have a, uh, or is this a Skylark? No, this is a Riviera, yeah. This is a, I forget what year this is. I believe this is, uh, like a, what, 60... Two? Or is this a later model? This is my other Riviera, though. Anyway. <laughs> um, I completely forget what your model, or model year that is. But this is a 65, and quite, quite the 65 Riviera this is. Um, finally got some metal flake paint, so we'll go ahead and zoom in on that. Let you guys get an eye full of that. Looks very, very cool. The green chrome, I'm not crazy about the green chrome, but I mean, whatever. The rest of the car is just as ridiculous, so I guess, you know. But uh, once again, it looks like we've got a supercharger on there. I guess that kind of looks like a would be a belt drive. The little uh, three-hole butterfly flap air grabber. Big, huge valve covers on there. Going to go ahead and assume that's a big block um, since it's, like you know, the size of the front of the car. Certainly not a small block. Uh, we've got side pipes on there. Paint job is really cool. Kind of like a tribal slash tribal flame job. But um, it looks cool because they committed to it. It's not just one little... It's like the whole car has a, a paint job on it instead of just a single little... <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. 
So this was my uh, my first zinger. And like I said, I did get this one for Christmas, and it's just been hanging out, waiting to come out of the box. Um, is that a license plate? That is a license plate. It says... It says... 901057. Hmm. <laughs> it's just like a regular license plate. <laughs> eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this thing. The, uh, what is that interior? It's like a, oh, it's white. I couldn't see, it's, it's got green tinted windows, so the interior looks like it's like yellowish almost. Um, that shif shifter is, uh, not super detailed. Yeah, it looks like a cucumber sticking out of the center console in there. Um, <laughs> or, you know, something else, but... <laughs> We'll keep it PG. Anyway, very, very cool car. Um, go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I'll square that up on the lift a little bit too. Very, very nice looking. And uh, finally out of the box in all of its glory, we can finally appreciate this super sick paint job on here. And uh, again, I guess those are yellow line wheels or green, green line. They're not red lines. Um... Go ahead and take a look at our card here. We have our freak facts. It says, uh, the cosmetic side scoops found on the 63 and 64 model years were removed for 1965. The headlights were also relocated from the front grille. Uh, originally, the Buick Riviera was designed to compete directly with the Ford Thunderbird. And there is our paint code, Zinger Metallic Green with Green Flames. And then, uh, uh, we already looked at this, but yeah, you remember, we unboxed all the rest of those guys, in, uh, except for the, the Integra and the Monaco, those are still up on my wall. But um, yeah, go watch the Christmas video if you want to see the rest of that series. But for now, there is our 65 Buick Riviera Zinger. And, before we forget... Our little Zinger trading card that comes with it. You can see the, uh, <laughs> that's so cool. Well, fun stuff. Um, let's go ahead. We'll do one of these. So that is our six new Johnny Lightning Zingers. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys loaded up into the parking garage. I hope the Camaro fits with that giant wing on it. All right, so starting off the row, we've got our 1980 Chevy Silverado, or Chevy uh, C10 Silverado, uh, with the beautiful golf paint job, of course, donated to us by uh, Jonathan Hardman. So again, thank you. Thank you very much, Jonathan. I absolutely love this thing. It's such a cool piece, and I'm thrilled to add it to the collection. So thank you very much, my friend. Next up, we've got the 73 Chevy C10 Cheyenne. This is not a Silverado. This is a Cheyenne, the Cheyenne trim level. There we go. I know how to speak. <laughs> and down here on the end, we've got our two 1980 Chevy C10 Silverados. And then with their stupid little flame thing. Ugh, gosh. <laughs> so real quick, I'm going to switch these last two out. For the 65 Buick Riviera, I just realized we didn't look under the Riviera. Um, yeah, same as all the other guys, but you do have green chrome underneath on everything. And then our production date is 6-24-2020. So almost forgot about that. But there is our 65 Buick Riviera with the 2011 Chevy Camaro Zinger next to it. Um, <laughs> that thing is so ridiculous. Uh, very cool stuff, though. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, say hi to our new friend Jonathan. And... Uh, Make sure you hit the like button. I already said that. And uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me as well. That's the one I forgot about. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>